Hi guys, I'm Peaches. I'm with Wicked Gypsy Boutique. You can find me on Facebook at Wicked Gypsy, all one word, or you can shop with me at wickedgypsyboutique.com. Today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do the pockets and the hoods, the inside of the hoods. Please excuse my mess. My shop is under renovation, so I'm having to do this in my kitchen. You can also find me on Facebook at Peaches Sublimation and More. Uh, that is my crafting website on Facebook and I do a lot of tutorials there and a lot of people share how to do things on there. It's a really cool group if you want to join. So let me get to it. I will show you how to do all of this or the way that I do it and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. This is the pocket of your hoodie. Now I like to tape the edges and I tape it right along that last little seam right here along it. And this just keeps it from overlapping. I'm kind of a little bit of a perfectionist, so I don't like it to bleed out and be all over the hoodie. So I tape mine up. Some people are a little bit more prone to just, you know, cut it and fit it on there. I like it to be a little bit more precise. So taping is your choice. This is my choice. Um, this is what we're going to be printing on now normally you would use probably like an 11 by 17 But I ran out of that paper. So I'm using a 13 by 19, which is fine. So make sure that your um, paper is down when you do it Because you don't want to fold it. I'm gonna show you how to fold it You don't want to fold it this way because then when you flip it over it's not going to match this way so you always wanna make sure it's face down when you're doing this. Now, I like to line it up at the bottom and I just kinda of let it overlap on the tape. And then I leave it right there. I put just a little piece of tape down here just to kinda of hold that one spot in place because we're going to, um, got a little piece of hair in there. Um, we're going to fold around this hoodie. Uh, so we're gonna fold the areas around the hoodie again I like overlap it on my tape because I know when I put it down to press we're not going to have it bleed over but it gives us enough room for cutting so I always make sure that those corners fold it down and then I'm going to fold this way again like that and then we're going to come down with this side, just kind of like origami it, I guess you could say. So we're going to fold it down this way. And we'll come over here, fold it this way. And then last but not least, I'm going to fold it this way. All right. So now you have your folded pocket that matches this. Another tip that I want to show you real quick that I forgot to show you earlier. Um, these hoodies can be tricky. They're hard to, you know, do because they bunch right here in the seam. So I always take a piece of cardboard and I, I put it on the inside of my hoodie. If you can see that put it on the inside of my hoodie and I stretch it across and I kind of pull it tight. You know, you can make one a little bit bigger. This is one I found just real quick for this video, um, you know, so that it kind of stretches it. But you're also going to press this before you press this so it'll flatten it out a lot more, but just for the folding, uh, something to kind of give you that uh, stability of stretch. So that's how you fold this. Now I'm gonna cut all of this off and then I'm gonna place this here um, after I press it out first, and then I'm gonna place this here, and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back, and I was recording. I thought I was recording, but I only took a picture, so I'm gonna go over this again. <laughs> so uh, my heat press is set at 375 uh, for 75 seconds, um, but uh, that's just my preference. That's what I've seen works for my heat press. Always work with what your heat press, uh, you know, does. 
uh, you want to always look that up as well. So I've already pre uh, pressed this and ironed it. Um, like I was saying, when I took my picture instead of my video, <laughs> um, make sure that you press it good enough. It's okay if it has a little, a bit of wrinkles, you know, sometimes ink will like fuse into that. If not, it's still okay. It adds character. Some people want it a little tighter. That's up to you. Now, when I put my hoodie on here, mine slides out. So I always put it, I sleeve it on just like you put it on a person and then I tuck it underneath or I bind clip it um, to keep it kind of stretched out enough. Now some pockets are bigger than your heat press and you'll have to finagle that. I've, I've found with the two X's and the extra larges and I've had to kind of cockeye them to get them in there, but this works, this is a, a large, so this works for this. So now we're gonna take our pre-cut, pre-cut that we just did. I cut all the edges off where I folded. I mean, you can leave them on, but you really don't want to get that ink on the top of your heat press. So I don't recommend it. It's so always cut. And then I use those scraps later for maybe the sleeves if I want to do the cuffs or, you know, something else or a little patch or something somewhere. Um, I never try to waste any of my um, sublimation prints because this stuff can be expensive. I know. <laughs> Again, like I said, I'm using a 13 by 19 page, um, usually an 11 by 17 or a, I think it's an eight and a half by 14 will work just depending on the size of the hoodie. Um, I ran out of those papers, so I used a 13 by 19. Um, I will also put in the link or in the pay on the tutorial, uh, all the links and stuff for the different parts of the hoodie of this design. So now I have that in there. Um, I also pre-cut paper. I use parchment paper, I use butcher paper, I use straight paper, printer paper, it, you know, whatever keeps your, your uh, press protected is, is going to work, except for don't use plastic because that'll melt. Just use, you know, the correct type of paper. So I got that in there and now I'm going to press it. And I'll be right back. Okay, so my timer has gone off. We're gonna lift this up, pull this out. Another thing I forgot to mention is I don't put, I, like I said, I put this on as, a, as you're putting it on a person. So if you do it the other way where you press the whole thing down, um, some people like to put that sheet inside there. But honestly, I found with the hood, the pockets in the front, it doesn't really bleed through. And if it does, it just goes through that first like part of it so it doesn't go like through the back but that's that's a preference but like i said i put it on as person so i have this underneath uh, which we'll see if it bled through and if it did then i change it but let's go ahead and take this off and as you can see i'm using the htv rant um paper and it presses pretty good for the most part i have used better but this one is is pretty good so see, there you go. Um, that's pressed on there. And now when I take my tape off, you're going to see how precise those lines are. So it just looks really nice and clean on there. Pull that a little bit so I'll burn myself. But there you go. That's the pocket of the hoodie. And see, like, there's that crease that had a little crease right there but you can barely see it um the other one it kind of bled into and it pressed out so uh it's just up to you but this is this is how that pocket of the hoodie is done and now i'm going to do the inside of the hood and i'll show you how to do that in just a second okay so this is the hoodie the hood of the hoodie and uh, i've already pressed it again i tape along that seam line um, just to make it a little bit more cleaner around the edges. Um, of course, you always want to lint roll everything. I've already pressed this to speed this along a little bit more. Um, and same thing as your pocket. You're going to take your print and you're going to, uh, this is again a 13 by 19. You're going to put it on your hoodie upside down because that's what's gonna press it and you don't wanna like um, put it the other way because then you're gonna have um, 
you're gonna have everything the wrong facing way and it's just not gonna look right. So you wanna put it on there. Again, I tape my marker point and I try to be careful so I don't burn myself. Now you can do this on a table too, but I have a very small kitchen table, so I'm doing this like this. I kind of leave a little bit of a lip when I do the hood because you want it to go on that top part to kind of fold over uh, so that it covers the whole hood. Now, if you have a, a part that the, you know, it doesn't touch the hoodie, don't worry, it's okay. It's, you know, you're gonna be fine. Nobody's gonna see that uh, when somebody's wearing it. So, you know, don't, don't get all crazy with it. But just kind of fold this over. But don't worry about it. I have hoodies that have like a huge, you know, line in the back that nobody sees it. They, they just see the front part of it. So, um, and I've never had any complaints about, oh, why isn't the whole hoodie inside of it done? You know, uh, there's always some kind of line or something and we're not perfect. <laughs> At least I try to tell myself, said the perfectionist. <laughs> So, okay, so, you know, you just kind of fold it just like you did the hoodie, and that's, those are the lines you're going to cut, and so I'm going to cut these lines off real quick. Um, I cut like a five-year-old, so it's best if you unroll the whole paper so you can see what you're doing. Also, another thing I do is I take the string out of the hoodie because you're, that's going to leave you a bump, and it's going to um, take away the pressure from the whole thing touching the fabric. So I take the string out, um, but I do my Christmas hoodies with rhinestone, um, rhinestone string, which you can find on Amazon. There's a couple other uh, boutiques that sell them online. Just look up rhinestone hoodie strings or Google it and you can find people that sell them um, like that. So now I'm gonna put this back on here See how it's kind of looked over a little bit um, of the of the back here there's a little piece right here that I'm going to cut off but yeah you just kind of cut around you know you don't have to be precise but I leave it it's okay if it gets on this bottom part because that's the inside because you folded your hoodie inside out I don't know if I said that already but yes I fold my hoodie inside out um, to do this uh, it's a lot easier than trying to finagle it. So turn your hoodie inside out. Um, and then you're gonna lay your hoodie flat and then press it and then here we go. We're gonna press this one. So get our paper here. Push this in. And get, push, get these areas down because we want as uh, much pressure as we can. Make sure this is in here enough. gonna fit all sides of this hood. Make sure it's not overlapping back there. Okay, here we go. Okay, and that side is done. So, Take this off and see. All done with that side. Take the tape off, see it's nice and clean. And see without that string, it really pressed it well. I've done it with the string in there and notice that I have a little faded line up the top of that top of it by the seam. And that really sucks. Um, so learning to take the string out of the hoodie was a, a good thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do the other side and I will come back and we will finish this up. Okay guys, and there you have it. There's the inside of the hood, as you can see. And like I said, sometimes there's, you know, just a little bit of a, a line, which is fine. It's inside, not gonna see that part anyways, but we're gonna turn this hoodie back uh, inside right side out <laughs> and you will see there's the pocket and then the inside of the hoodie so just another fun way to make your hoodies it's a little bit more time-consuming but 
you can charge a little extra more money <laughs> for them, which is nice because um, they are a little bit more unique. So that is how I do my pocket and the inside of the hoods. I hope you join me on my Facebook page, uh, Peaches, Sublimation and More, and you can shop with me again at Wicked Gypsy Boutique. Uh, dot com. Thank you so much and have a great day. Hi guys, I'm Peaches. I'm with Wicked Gypsy Boutique. You can find me on Facebook at Wicked Gypsy, all one word, or you can shop with me at wickedgypsyboutique.com. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the pockets and the hoods, the inside of the hoods. Please excuse my mess. My shop is under renovation, so I'm having to do this in my kitchen. You can also find me on Facebook at Peaches Sublimation and More. Uh, that is my crafting website on Facebook. And I do a lot of tutorials there and a lot of people share how to do things on there. It's a really cool group if you wanna join. So let me get to it. I will show you how to do all of this or the way that I do it. And I'll be right back. <music> 